Hi everyone, my name is Office Holmes and I'll be your instructor for Laravel 9 Basic Beginners course. Let's get started. Um, I'm pretty sure you must have had Laravel multiple times and you must be wondering what it is. And I know as a basic, um, you know, beginner developer, it's, you know, sometimes when you hear too many things, it's, it's going to be overwhelming. But I'm just going to try to simplify this just as much as the date um, simplified from Laravel themselves. And Laravel is a web application framework built on PHP with expressive, elegant syntax, right? And you may be wondering what is a web framework, and I decided to, you know, define that as well. A web framework is a tool that provides a structure and foundation for creating applications. Now, um, I, you know, immediately this may sound a bit like, okay, um, apart from that, really, well, what is it? Um, you can easily visit the Laravel's uh, uh, documentation by going to laravel.com or you could you know just google laravel and you could you should be able to easily find um, the laravel documentation right here and all that now when you get um, over to the documentation you could actually go over to uh, you know the documentation hold on just by clicking over here or you could actually you know Take, let's 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 just go through this together, uh, so it maybe get you know a bit of understanding what's going on here. And just like the said, Laravel is a web application with expressive elegant syntax, and they already did laid they already laid the foundation, you know, freeing us from creating, uh, freeing us to create applications without sweat, right, and, and all of that. Now, um, Laravel has a syntax, or rather a pattern that you know you code with rather than you know how you would go about coding in uh your php and all of that note that this syntax doesn't mean it's different from php itself you're still writing php pure php uh just that you follow certain pattern and certain um um practice or design practices while you're actually building your application usually um just so you know laravel has um the pattern for Laravel, the default pattern is an MVC structure, which is model view controller. But then I'm not going to talk too much into that today. I'm just going to, you know, just go around the documentation and then uh, in the next episode, we're going to talk about how to install and, you know, and furthermore, talk about more things. So when you come over to the documentation, and by the way, we're on Laravel version 9. Uh, there's been different versions you know, up the way, up down to I mean going down to 4.2, and uh, you know Laravel is actually a really has a really huge community. I mean the programming uh, syntax was founded by uh, Taylor Oldwell, and ever since then a lot of people have adopted Laravel for building PHP based applications rather than you know having to you know build a lot of things from from scratch, reinventing the wheel, and all of that. Laravel is pretty scalable. In my, Laravel is pretty scalable, and you know you get to see that in 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 a minute. So, so right here you get to see why Laravel, and then you get to you know um, if we take a glance through, you get to see a progressive framework, uh, which means that Laravel grows with you. If you're just taking your first steps in into web development, Laravel's vast library documentation guides and video tutorials will help you learn. The ropes without overcome be, without becoming overwhelmed, right? Now, if you are a senior developer, which I know you're not, but if you were, um, Laravel gives you robust tools, uh, you know, for dependency injection, unit testing, queues, real time events. Now, I don't want you to, you know, think about all of that right now. Just just um, ignore those right now because those are really um, advanced terms, especially dependency injection. At some point, you get to understand. Um, all of this, but just ignore all of that, right? Um, it's a scalable framework. Uh, Laravel is incredibly scalable, right? Thanks to the scaling uh, friendly nature of PHP and Laravel's built in support for fast distributed catch systems like Redis, horizontal scaling with Laravel is a breeze. Now, you don't need to wonder what Redis is at the moment, uh, but if I were to give you a bit, uh, 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 a, uh, a bit of explanation, that Redis is a um storage uh like a storage system usually we use it for um uh, catching and all of that um redis is just like having uh mysql right 
Redis is just like having Postgres, MongoDB. But Redis is commonly used for caching, but it's a, it's a storage um, um, setup or system where you could actually store data uh, into you know the Redis application itself, and you'll be able to access that data at really you know great speed and all of that. But it's not like um, relational databases or um, you know non-relational databases and all of that. So it's it's more like you know you put it in something there, you take it out, it expires and all of that, right? So it's a community-based framework. Laravel has a re has a good, I mean, it has a really large support system. I mean, by the community, a lot of people get to contribute to the framework uh, and all of that. Uh, I myself have a, have a package built uh, based off of Laravel as well. So uh, just to give you you know a sense of uh, what it's like. And all of that. So if you ever got stuck, just by searching whatever the issue may be, you probably find the answer already lying, uh, lying there in the internet waiting for you, right? So um, for this course, in order for us to you know get to do the basic setups and all of that, you need to have at least know a little bit of PHP. You need to have a code editor like uh, VS Code, Atom, or PHP Storm. Whichever is fine, whichever you're more comfortable with, and also you need to have PHP 8 installed, and lastly you need to have Composer. Okay, so now many of you, because the fact that you have you know basic PHP and, and all you know basic PHP, you probably have PHP um, installed, PHP 8 installed, but then um, you might not have Composer installed. So in order for you to get Composer installed, you probably want to you could easily Google Composer download. And you click on the first URL that says get composer uh, dot org slash download, or you know you could easily just type it in your URL and you know go to get composer dot org slash download. Now this is uh, for the Windows installation. You could easily just click on the command setup, and when you click on that, it's going to actually download. Uh, I'm not going to be downloading this because as you can see, I already have one. Now you want to run and install that, and after you install that, um, in order to confirm that your installation works, um, in order to confirm that your installation works, you probably want to um, open a new command shell, uh, and then you want to type composer v. Now, if you have Composer installed and you, if you installed it, uh, um, sorry, Composer uh, thing dash dash v, just to be sure. Oh, sorry. The the bigger version of v, not the small one. I'm just gonna do that again. So you want to do this, you know, Composer dash v. Uh, the v is caps, and you should see a message like this telling you that you this is the version you have installed and if you do have this i mean you're good to go actually uh but if you do not have this then you probably want to you know download this and, and all of that but if for some reason you've installed it you're sure you installed it and you can't you know it, it's giving you some sort of command something like uh this let's say and then it's telling you you know the term is not recognized you probably want to, you don't want to open your command, your PowerShell or your command prompt or whichever shell you have on your PC um, during the installation. You probably perhaps want to close that and then restart it. But if still it's not working, um, you perhaps you could try restarting your computer and, and all of that. There are other ways to still try to debug this, but you could try to restart your computer and then if you do, and you could, you know, come back and, you know, try this again and hopefully it should work. And all that. Now, after you have this um, installed, the next step would be to install, uh, you know, create a Laravel uh, setup and, you know, move forward. But we'll do that in the next tutorial. So, bye for now. See you.